Hi everyone, welcome to my channel EduPet. So nowadays, one of the very very biggest question that every one is asking. So many of my students, many of my junior is asking that uh, sir, why there are no calls for software tester? So I am well prepared. I knows everything in manual testing. I have a knowledge on automation testing. Till now, I am not getting any calls for software testing profile. So what should I do? Why we are not getting any calls? So like that. So this is the question that everyone is asking, right? So today's video, I am going to share something about that. That what we are not getting any calls for software testing profiles. So I think it will be really helpful in your next two to three months or next quarter for your career, right? So now, just I am telling you that in my personal opinion, in my personal view, what I am thinking that what that why we are not getting any calls for the software testing profile. I am sharing my views only. Okay, so. Before starting the video, if you are new in this my if you are new in this channel, please subscribe this channel. If you like my video, at the end, one thumbs up and share these videos to your nearest friends. Okay, so let's start. So question is that why there are no calls for software tester? And after that, I will be clear in I will be clearing you that when we will get the call again. Okay, so first start with that what why there are no calls for software tester now you as of my personal opinion as of my view what i am i mean uh, what i am seeing that there are few key factors are there okay so there are few key factors are there for that reason we are not getting any calls for software testing profile now first one is that so suppose there are there are no project or there are no products is available for the new so there is no new product or projects is available so no new projects or we can say products so no new projects or products are there so if there is no new projects or product then there is no hiring so hiring will be fees because suppose we are making one building so in that building already we have four levers are there so there is no new requirement so that's why there is no extra manpower should be involved right so if we hire extra manpower if we hired extra resource then we have to give them money we have to pay them money right so that's why if there is no new projects or product is available or there is no new product so that's why the hiring is stopped now so that's why we are not getting any calls for software testing profile okay so uh, now in your mind there will be a one question right that, that like sir why there is no new projects or products so because we all know that from the year of 2022 already the recession has been started so as you all know that already the recession has been started so due to that so many of the clients they are revoking their projects or they are stopping their project they are stopping their products so that's why there is no new projects or product is available so that is the one key factor and the number two key factor is that we can say Suppose, suppose in my project, so I am working any ABC project. I am working any ABC project, right? So in my project, suppose I am the tester. So I am the tester. I am the tester. Okay. So I am the tester. Now I resigned. So I resigned from that XYZ company. So I resigned from that XYZ company. So this is the XYZ is the company. ABC is the project and I am the tester. Now I resign from that XYZ company. That means I am also uh, resigning from that ABC project. So now I am only the tester. Now if I resigned, then obviously 
there is needed one extra resource for that will take care my place right so for that reason only one one only tester or we can say only one tester should be hired should be hired right should be hired so as i am working on the xyz company on the abc project now i am only one tester on that project now i resign then what then what then from the management they will hire only one tester who will replace my i mean uh, who will be replaced okay so in my in my place he will be joining that means there is no bulk hiring there is no up campus drive so only only one should hired that means so we can say it's a replacement replacement we can say it's a replacement so in my place another one is hiring i mean another one should be joined right so that's that that, that means it's a replacement so this is the one key factor okay now number 3 so number 3 we can say like now nowadays many company so they are starting a new policy like that so immediate joiner i mean immediate immediate joiners immediate joiners means immediate joiners means who is able to join within 15 days within the 15 days time so let's say the company policy is that anyone can be joined if i am hiring anyone so he or she can join within 15 days now one problem is there suppose i am working in a company i am working in a xyz company now in my company work policy there is two months notice period so in my policy there is two months notice period okay so two months means 60 days notice period now how can i join in that new company within that 15 days is that possible no because in my company my management will not i mean they will not release me within that uh, 15 days so obviously i have to i have to serve my notice period till 60 days so that's why i cannot join that so that's a immediate joiner so this is the one one key factor is there now now number four so number four key factor is that package so package means suppose my package is 20 lakh per annum my package is 20 lakh per annum now company is hiring for that project let's say for that abc project they can give me maximum let's say 12 lakh per annum now this is out of bound 20 lakh 20 lakh per annum is the out of bound for the new company that's why they cannot join me okay they will not hire me or they will not hire anyone who is belongs to that 20 lakh per annum so that is the key factor so if your package is let's say if your package is more than 20 lakh per annum then there is so then chances of getting call is very 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 low okay so the uh, the executive will call you and when uh, when you i mean when you tell her or him like that my expected salary is 20 lakh per annum then they will say like that okay we'll check with our management and we'll get back to you but they never get back to you because your boundaries and your package you are you are asking them to give 20 lakh per annum but their maximum capacity is that they can give you only 12 lakh per annum so that is their budget so it's a it's a out of bound so that's why they they will not hire you or you will not get any calls for that profile okay now point number five or key factor five now 
nowadays there is a very common trends is that maximum companies hiring for automation tester it doesn't matter if you are one years of experience in automation testing or two years of experience in automation testing or three years of experience in automation testing but if the company's vacancy is for that two years of experience knowledge in testing profile so make sure they will call you and they will ask you that you have knowledge on automation testing means now automation testing is a very trend because if if one i mean if the company is hiring a two years of automation tester instead of manual tester that means one advantage is there in the company side one automation tester can do the automation script and also they can do the manual testing but if i am hiring only the manual tester that means if any project is needed for automation then again i have to hire one another one another employee okay that means for the same role we have to pay two employee at the same time so that's why it's a common trend now that who is hiring any company is hiring make sure they will be hiring for automation testing engineers or you have to knowledge on automation testing so that's why need to so automation i'm writing you automation knowledge automation knowledge okay so automation knowledge is required so need to have automation knowledge instead of manual i mean manual testing so obviously we have to know manual testing as well but if you are a manual tester obviously sorry if you are a automation tester then obviously you have a knowledge on automation tester so that's why need to have a automation knowledge only manual testing experience if you are a manual testing experience then for the getting calls for the software tester profile is a very very difficult so lots of key key factor is matter for that there is no calls for software test and obviously that is the most important thing is that recession has been started so that is the main one important key factor we can say but obviously there is as of my personal view these are the few key factors is that so we have to work on that very carefully and be patient and the uh, end of the day you will get a very 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 good job so for that time being you have to increase your knowledge you have to increase your automation testing knowledge if you are not aware of that you have to increase your uh, api testing knowledge your performance testing knowledge database testing knowledge so everything you have to know because you also know that so current trend is that many of the company is uh, hiring for that uh, you have to know the manual testing you have to know the automation testing you have to know the performance testing everything so means we can say it's a full stack qa okay so you need to know uh, everything then you can get a call but uh, don't worry so uh, uh, if you are in the focus that you have to grab a job you have to get a job and you need that job then obviously you will get a job don't talk about that so again i am saying that it's my personal view so i am seeing this thing so that's why i am making this video so maybe it will be helpful for you guys and one another thing is that when we will get the call again so obviously when the recession will be sorted out or we can say uh 2000 to uh, now 2023 is running okay so i think uh, on the september october so that time maybe there is more chances is there to getting a job okay in maybe the third quarter or second quarter will uh, i mean 2023 i'm writing it that 2023 uh, maybe the third quarter third quarter or quarter or fourth quarter quarter you will get uh, i mean you will again and you can expect again the call okay for that uh, interview purpose okay but uh, it's my assumption it may be happen 
okay so for that time being you have a time to boost up your knowledge you have time to uh, grab your testing activity on that automation testing and performance testing and api testing as well be patient no no issues at the end of the day uh, you will get a very very good job okay that is the topic for today's video now i think you guys are very very much clear about that thank you